Hey guys, how's it going? This is Watch, and in this video, we'll be doing a direct comparison between the Canon 70D and the 7D Mark II. Now, here are the top of the line APS-C size sensor cameras from Canon, and we both have excellent photo and video capabilities on both cameras. We have some advantages and disadvantages that both cameras present, but we're going to be specifically taking a look at the photos and video capabilities of both cameras to see which one has the best image quality. Now, in terms of the overall physical dimensions and footprint of both these cameras, they're both pretty much identical in terms of those factors. The 7D Mark II weighs a little bit more than the 70D, about 820 grams versus 755 grams, but it's also made out of a weather-sealed magnesium alloy construction that's both dust and water resistant. The 70D is made out of polycarbonate plastics, but it's pretty durable. It's rated for about 100,000 shutter actuations versus about 200,000 shutter actuations on the 70D. D Mark II. You also do have to consider that there is a little bit of a price difference between these two cameras and one thing you are certainly paying for on the 7D Mark II is that premium build quality. Now in terms of sensors, both cameras are pretty much identical in terms of specifications. They're both APS-C crop sensors that have the same exact resolution of 20.2 megapixels and even though they might have the exact same imaging sensor, everything else about the cameras are quite different. The 7D Mark II has a whole new autofocusing system. It has 65 all cross type autofocusing points versus the 70D has about 19 autofocusing points which are all cross type as well. In terms of the overall burst mode we have 10 frames per second on the 7D Mark II which is very impressive compared to the uh, definitely modest 7 frames per second that you get on the 70D. So if you're into sports photography and things like that both cameras are pretty good but professionals are going to definitely lean towards the 70D Mark II because you can probably get more options in terms of capturing that perfect moment. Now furthermore, continuing with autofocusing, both cameras actually have the hybrid dual pixel technology, which essentially gives you the ability to do phase detection autofocusing, which is much faster than contrast detection that most cameras have in live view mode for both photos and video. So both cameras have that amazing autofocusing capabilities for your videos, which look very natural and very smooth. That works with a variety of different lenses. Now one of the main reasons people are interested in the 7 70D compared to the lower tier level cameras is because of its fully articulating touchscreen and its overall full size DSLR body. And that's one of the reasons why I use it particularly for video. And if you're a videographer, this is really an essential tool if you don't have an external monitor. And uh, the factor is that you definitely get more options available to you when you have that articulating screen. And having it touchscreen based also makes everything a little bit more convenient as well. Now you see that the 70 Mark II does not have an articulating screen it is fixed and one of the main reasons why they do that is because the 70 is really designed for sports and nature photographers out there and uh, they really want the most rugged and durable kind of camera that Canon can build and Canon may be thinking that having an articulating screen may kind of take away from some of those factors. Now the 7D Mark II has a hundred percent coverage on its viewfinder versus the 70D only has 98 percent coverage. Additionally in terms of media storage we do also have dual card slots on the 70 Mark II, one compact flash, one SD card versus the 70D only has one SD card slot. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual stills capabilities of both of these cameras and see which one looks better to you. Now from a clarity standpoint, I don't think the 7D Mark II offers anything new uh, in terms of color rendition, dynamic range, and overall clarity in terms of the stills capabilities of the 70D. So therefore, if you're going for pure image quality, both these cameras are pretty much identical in terms of those factors. Now looking at the low light performance, it is a different story. Because we have a new Digic 6 processor compared to the Digic 5 processor that's in the 70D, if you're shooting JPEG on a high ISO, so settings, you do notice that the 7D Mark II delivers a lot cleaner looking image that is a little bit better in terms of maintaining detail as well. In fact, I think at ISO 6400, the 7D Mark II is certainly usable for pretty much most applications out there versus ISO 3200 is kind of within that range on the 70D. 
Now, from a video standpoint, the only addition that the 7D Mark II offers over the 7D is the factor of a full 1080p recording at 60 frames per second. And the 7D can only offer that kind of frame rate at 720p options. In terms of recording formats, we do have intra frame compatibilities on both cameras. So you can shoot at fairly high bit rates on both cameras. So both will deliver pretty smooth looking overall video footage that's going to be pretty easy to edit as well. In terms of audio, we we do have external mic connections for both cameras. Unfortunately, the 70D does not have a headphone jack. Uh, so the 70 Mark II has that edge up there in terms of monitoring straight out of the camera. But both do allow you to adjust the audio levels manually. So let's go ahead and take some time to actually review the video footage that I shot throughout the week on these two cameras and see if there's any noticeable differences between these two in terms of video capabilities. Now, if you take a look at the video, you'll notice that we find kind of the same result as we did from the photos. Pretty much identical in terms of all aspects of image quality and no real advantage in terms of actual image quality differences between these two cameras. So if you're really looking for video functionality purely and you don't really need that 60 frames per second in 1080p, I definitely really do like the aspect of the 70D. Unfortunately, it does not have the uh, headphone jack, which is uh, definitely unfortunate, but but I would definitely trade that headphone jack for that articulating screen. And uh, when we take a look at the low light performance, the 7D Mark II definitely has a slight edge up, mostly because of that uh, Digic 6 processor is doing a little bit of a better job in terms of uh, maintaining a pretty low noise level with maintaining a decent amount of detail overall. But on that, guys, that's really it. If you have any specific questions about anything I talked about in this video, please make sure to leave that on a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the 7D Mark II, how it compares against the 7D. Uh, there's a, a little bit of a price difference between these two cameras, but there's definitely a couple of features that the 7D does that the 7D doesn't. But I really do like the overall form factor and mainly that flip out screen of the 7D, especially if you're doing a lot of video work. But uh, again, uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and we'll see you later. Take care.